Parliament has voted, madam. You are the new president. President, yet I don't have the power to bury my brother. Chaos in the streets will subside in time. Perhaps the only benefit of the Israeli occupation. Congratulations, President Jamila. Starving children. Madam? How will I feed them? Well, they... Terrorism, how will I really bring peace? Honestly, what this country needs is an idealist with new ideas. My, my brother was an idealist. An idealist. He ruled with iron fists. He believed it would end bloodshed. But it was wrong. And now it's my turn, and I'm not smart enough to come up with anything better. Trust yourself. I trust my chief of staff. I mean, you've been like a prince to the nation for many years. I really can't succeed without your experience. Well, this prince is weary and ready for the pauper's life. if you forget the important points. The American Secretary of State will respect your interest in organization. For example, on the first page here on the table of contents, we have a list of important points that perhaps... I mustn't come off as a fool. I need American foreign aid. I need a mediator, Abdul, to secure our borders from the Israelis. I... Oh, crib notes. The American will appreciate leadership. That's a hell of a trick to pull, Baloma. I hear you're planning on leaving Jamila's government. She's too indecisive to leave the nation from ruin. She's your friend. And Allah help me, I left her cold. With prayers that if rebellion rises again, the new tyrants will find me a pauper, famished of all governmental power, and leave me in peace. The Muslims know of your reverence for Islam. I believe the government will never hold if you leave it. <laughs> Be seated, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Madam President. May this meeting be a sign of a long and fruitful relationship between our two governments. I assure you, President Jamila, our desire for good ties to your new government is equally strong. Strategically, you're very important to us. First, however, 
we have to discuss some obstacles which uh, must be overcome. Prime of which is, we feel, you need to replace much of your cabinet with people of better qualifications. We've compiled a list of uh, people within your country uh, whom you should consider. I strongly urge you to uh, seriously think about it. Are these points important to whether or not we receive foreign aid from your government? I can guarantee it. My government is dealing with a struggling economy and anarchy and... Well, I sympathize, but... Our main concern is that you're ill-prepared to deal adequately with the challenges before you due to uh, a lack of administrative experience and uh, an unqualified staff. One main problem with your budget, to be candid, is your chief of staff, uh, Amin. He's been corrupt, squandering your money, uh, supporting a violent series of dictatorships. I'd advise you to replace him. How did the meeting go? I think we'll get something going. These Americans need us, fancy that. Well, I came to tell you I decided not to resign. But you've been looking forward to this for years. Well, I couldn't run out on my best friend. You mean you've earned a rest. Honestly, Jamila, I must insist. I know you're being kind. But Baloma informed me instability may follow if I retire. You're not the biggest hit in the Islamic sector, my friend. Hell, you need my help. I mean, the American said that he will not support us unless I removed you from office. Seems you're not the biggest hit with his government. Yes. Well, without my service, the Islamic tide may swell and wash away your rule and your life in my life. Uncertainty compared with the certainty that with your support the American funds will not provide the mortar to build our foundation. In which case it'll take less than a tie to wash us to sea. I mean that is my choice between certainty and uncertainty and God save my soul between politics and friendship. Jamila, you've become a real, a real leader. You know the alternatives. You know the possible reactions to each option. You didn't make a blind stab in the dark, but you made a decision based on concrete reasons. A good opportunity, I'd say, to enjoy the pauper's life. Oh, may this be the sign of good years ahead.